previously on Fly With The Guy. I'm flying with my homegirl today. So y'all know we together. She go back there. Hey, grab that. Yes. I don't know if we're gonna get out here at 642, but we shall see. Which means I'm now back legal <laughs> to work my full pairing. That's the vlog. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. Now these models win. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies as a flight attendant based down in Miami, Florida. Today, I am heading out on a three day trip. Well, it's a fake three day. And over the course of the trip, you will see why we refer to it as a fake three day. But it started off as a two day that I put an additional trip on top of that turned into now a three day. So I'm going to the airport today after yesterday's horrendous events. If you saw the last vlog, um, you know what I'm talking about where I went nowhere. I'm back at DM. I went home, no injuries <laughs> from that little shuffle right at the end. But yeah, we're going back out. Today we're working at three legs. To we start off with the international turn down to New Airport Code, MBJ, Montego Bay, Jamaica. When I was studying for to go to flight attendant training and we were learning airport codes, I learned that, that one by Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige and Montego Bay. That's, that's what I used to help me learn that one. But yes, we're going down to Montego Bay, we come back, and then we will go on to Newark where we will get in very late tonight so um yeah i'm pushing it i'm taking the expressway instead of the main road because i need to make up time because when i should have been getting ready i was having fun repotting plants so yeah <laughs> that was that but i wanted to get it done because i'm not going to get home until like monday so i just went ahead and did it and made it happen so yeah let's go work. On the jet bridge, our plane just got clean, so we gotta hustle and bustle. Try to get out here on time. Ah! That is got twisted. I don't think I mentioned, but I'm working in a cabin on this part of the trip. So, I need to go make sure all my checks are done. I hope we have a short flight. Jamaica's not that far, so it should be pretty short. And then we'll, I'll talk to y'all when we get there. Steppers already. I mean, it's the long jet bridge, so it's worth it. All right, y'all. So we have made it back in. Just clear customs coming in from Jamaica. I have to tell you all about that flight, but a little bit later, because now we are running right at the time mark. We're going on our new aircraft plane change that we're going to be taking up to Newark this evening. One more flight, and we shall be done. I get a second, I'll show you all what's in my bag because I haven't done that in a long time. So I'm gonna get on and do my checks, and if I have time before boarding, I will show y'all. Alright, so this is just crackers. Snack, snack, snack. I got the food on deck. And then, and here we have smoothies, we have more of those wraps. Y'all know what's up, the month of July. Watermelon on deck, deck. This is a salad that I'm about to eat. And this is 
chicken, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. I miss, y'all already know what's up, guacamole, cheese, and pepperonis. And this is another, this is chicken, macaroni, cheese, and broccoli, so. We got our food, we're ready for our little fake three day. Aaron also came on here with like a whole, okay. So we have made it to Newark. <laughs> Gotta tell you about this one, but I can't. Oh. But I can't do it just yet because I'm downstairs in the lobby, heating up my food. Because I just turned in my ice pack. Cause when I go up there, we up there. All right, so I'm gonna multitask because I want to tell you all about today's journey. But I literally like unpacked the whole room. Put all the food away, plugged up all the devices to make sure I'm good. And I want to make this brief because I'm going to eat at the same time. Yes, I'm eating at 1 o'clock in the morning, but mind your business. We're hungry. And this is why we meal prep, so that the food is ready when we need it to be. My good old... Okay, so the flight from Miami to Jamaica. Cool. A lot of bags. Cool. The flight from Jamaica. <laughs> back to Miami. So I told you I was working in a cabin, right? So dorm boarding, people coming on, people sitting. I was like, towards the middle of the cabin, like row 12 or 13. I see a gentleman standing out. Typically this happens when somebody is in somebody's seat that they don't belong in. So I proceed to go up there to try to rectify the situation so that we can resume boarding. You know how that goes. And then the, the customer was like, you need to find me another seat. And I was like, it's a full flight. I need you to take the seat that's on your boarding pass, and if there's a seat available, I'm happy to assist assist you in relocating to open seat at the end of the boarding process. She won't let me sit down. You need to find me another seat, and I'm like, there are no other seats. Like at this point, there were like maybe ten open seats, and I'm like, sir, I'm sitting in the cabin. I don't know which seat is going to be occupied and which seat is going to be vacant. So. The, the lady, this old lady that was sitting in the row, she was sitting in the aisle seat. There was somebody sitting in the window. The middle was open. That was supposed to be his seat. She wasn't letting him come into the row because she said that there was only supposed to be two people in any row and nobody was supposed to be in the middle. And I'm like, she said, you all are supposed to put more than two people in the middle. I said, where? I said, ma'am, we have not blocked middle seats since June of 2020. It's been, it's now been over a year of us not blocking seats. Like, somebody's going to sit there, or if you're uncomfortable with sitting three to a row, you cannot fly today, and we can find you other travel arrangements. We just went at it, because I'm like, first of all, y'all not about to be talking to me like that. Bring your tone down. Second of all, these are your options. Decide what you want to do. They both ended up flying and they both ended up sitting beside each other. Then we flew back, bought the flight, calling the Newark, get everybody on, get ready to close up. As soon as our lead is closing the main cabin door, she closes the door. And once we close the door, they start pulling the jet bridge away. The flight attendant's in the back call. There's a passenger with a sick chip, and she doesn't want to fly. She wants to get off. So we have to call, bring the, bring the bridge back, reopen the door. By the time the agent comes back, the passenger's like, no, 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 no. We're going to fly. Ma'am, which one is it? Make a decision, please, because everybody's ready to get to Jersey at this point. So then we go. Flight's going well. You know, we doing, we doing. I, I ate and everything. I'm just sitting back, relaxing in the flight. Next thing you know. Smoke alarm coming from the laboratory. Yeah, I know this ain't the first time that I've seen this happen, so you know, jump into it. I'm gonna say it again, y'all. In 2021, do not try to vape on an aircraft. First of all, it's against the federal law. Second of all, you will get caught. But now we're here, and all that is behind us. We have a 17 hour layover. Let me tell you the best part of my evening. So there's a frequent flyer. Hey, Danny who hit me up back in May about a trip that she was going on and that she was flying the airline that I work for. 
And she was like, you know, it'd be cool if you would be one of the flight attendants on my flight. And I was like, you know, <laughs> small world, you just never know. This was the weekend of the flight. Tonight was her, week, her flight back to Jersey. Guess who was working her flight? Me. Literally, y'all, we talked about this, like, the end of May. May, like, 25th, May 25th, 26th, 27th. And lo and behold, July 3rd, and I'm the flight attendant. So I want to say Danny is literally the first frequent flyer to see me at work. Like, in action. Outside of my friends, but my coworker friends that watch my channel, they don't count. But yeah, so shout out to you. 17 hour layover here. We have a 5 p.m. van time tomorrow, so I have enough time to go to sleep, sleep in, no alarm, wake up, and we will figure out the rest of the day as we go. Good night. So I'm in a bit of a rush because my Uber beat me here. But I'm leaving to go out to brunch. I was mid up though, up today's vlog. So I don't know if that's gonna go out. I really don't know. <laughs> we shall see. Hello. Sorry about that. I forgot my mask, I had to turn around. So we are at this fresh spot called, what's it called? The Garden? Okay, yeah, just the Garden. Just the Garden in New Jersey. That spot, y'all gotta come check it out. I'll put some of their menu here on the screen or whatever. Well, I'm with Danny, so <laughs> or whatever. We're about to have a good time and, you know, bye about later. Alright, so I just made it back to the hotel. Brunch was fantastic thank you Danny so much for showing me a great time while I was in um, Jersey you all just got back to the hotel I'm currently waiting on them to get my ice packs because I figured since I'm about to get dressed to leave I should go ahead and get my ice packs now so that when I go to my room I can actually pack the food bag one last thing to do think smarter not harder. So the girl at the front desk brought out like all the ice packs that were in the freezer and she was like, which one is it? It doesn't have your name on it. And I told her, last name Redis or whatever, and a room number. Look at this y'all. What did I say right there? Is that not my last name? Right there? And the room number? I <sighs> ay ay <laughs> But after the trauma I went through at the top of June, I'm never leaving my ice packs ever again. Happy days don't last always. Y'all, look at this. <laughs> the kid is back at the hotel. The kid has taken another shower, got dressed for work, packed all his bags, double checked the room, and is ready to go. What more can you ask for out of an 18 hour layover than to get quality sleep, go out, Foo la la, and make it on work on time. We're fully compliant. We're ready to go. Now, <laughs> the trip that I originally started with was a two day trip, so it only has one leg back to Miami and done. The rest of my coworkers, they'll be done, but not me, because I turned the two day into a three day. So when I come off of this flight, I will then board another flight and do a turn to Guatemala City today. So, yeah, we have three legs today. <laughs> Newark to Miami, Miami to Guatemala, Guatemala to Miami. That is a red eye turn. So we're working like 12 hours and I'll get done about 5, 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I love that for us. This is why we call it a fake three day because anytime trips end like duty off after midnight or you get off at like 1 or 2 a.m. Like, I mean, technically you work that day but like, you don't really work that day because you get off and you have the whole day to do whatever you want to do. So we call it a fake day or whatever. So yeah, this is a fake three day. But um, this is day two and I will work into day three. So let's go. So I made it 
headed back to Miami, swapped planes, did our checks. I just went to go check in with the custom service agent. I'm now about to work the turn down to Guatemala City and back up. Should get back around 6 a.m. Um, just came off a crew that was ABC. Tonight's crew is ABC, so I love that for me. Anyway, I'm about to eat dinner. Uh, probably on this flight out and so there is a hurricane that is making its way through the Caribbean right now so I don't know how that's going to impact our flight but we shall see. We're expecting a full flight down to where are we going? Guatemala. That's fast. Um, I'm working leads. So I'm going to get my little get myself together make sure I'm ready for the peoples. Alright y'all. currently in Guatemala I think it's like 12 15 this time which means it's 2 15 on the East Coast but it's time to board back up and go home and then our three day or fake three day will be done all right so we have made it back to Miami y'all we still in one piece Those flights were super easy. We got back, we were 40 minutes early. Our gate was occupied because it was five o'clock in the morning. We weren't supposed to get back till like six, so yeah. But now we're off and we're done, y'all. Three day trip, done. I come right back to work tomorrow morning. So, I'm random, got who flies and I will see y'all tomorrow morning.